It seems to me that uh, last winter you said, I asked my collaborators a winning car. Why are you so confident? What has changed in the configuration? Well, we're talking about trust and confidence. Well, I am confident about the commitment and about the in-depth work carried out into when tunnel and Toyota's one, and also analyzing in detail improvements to be made on uh, previous configurations from last year. Mr. President, don't, aren't you afraid that some rules will lead to some uh, secondary aspects like sensors or other features that are not important? We really have to focus on the future. First, today, Formula One is excessively based on aerodynamics. Second, tests. And this sport, with this level, there cannot be limits like this. Third, which is a more general theme concerning the technologies and also the positioning, Formula One must be more and more the privilege area for research, advanced research of innovative technologies for our future cars. And Ferrari has had and still has an extremely important transfer of uh, GT technologies uh, to, to race. It's important to analyze consumption, to analyze curves, environment, environmentally friendly technologies, and also innovative technologies to be transferred. Formula One has been and will always be a formula implying strong, high investments. Engines, indeed, cannot be the same. But I think that with these constructive ideas and a good communication, we can really improve the previously extraordinary formula for our future. Mr. President, you also talk about the future. The role of the four-cylinder engine can still be changed or not? Well, I think it's unthinkable. I'm still persuaded about the fact that six-cylinder engines would be more in line with the Formula One's positioning on the market. I'd rather have a six-cylinder engine with very high target in terms of consumption and pollution rather than a four-cylinder engine, because otherwise this would probably lead to a wide a single cylinder engine, otherwise we go to, to bicycles. It's paradoxical to say that, and I'm kind of ashamed of it, but uh, considering the current situation, calling this car F-150 and having this and having uh, the Italian flag on it is something really strong. It's, you're taking a stance in it. So don't you think that this could lead to a loss of fans? We have always had our flag. And in the last 20 years, I've always insisted to have it uh, on the front part or on, on a side. As many athletes that are really proud of competing for, for their country, for Italy, feel excited when they see their flag after winning a race, we actually wanted to do the same because uh, this means that Italy is winning, Italy is united, and that this is a sport, as I was saying, in a country where everybody is against everybody else and people don't really understand what happens, we really want to give a, a strong sign of national passion and pride. Something about your drivers, uh, you trust both of them, but according to you, according to the new organization of uh, the team, uh, what will have um, the most uh, of advantages? Uh, Fernando or Felipe? We have worked on organization, as uh, Domenicali said, on uh, two uh, basic uh, points. Uh, first of all, to continue with uh, the policy of uh, small uh, inclusions uh, of uh, outside uh, persons uh, bringing uh, new skills, new competences, and new uh, 
control. Uh, the second point uh, was to improve uh, all those uh, facilities and tools uh, that, according to current uh, rules, uh, um, actually imply. We have also revised the organization of the individual uh, teams of uh, both drivers. Uh, we've done a very good work, uh, and this has been done at the same level, hoping that Massa will perform very well uh, since the very beginning, uh, bringing us to those uh, points uh, we missed uh, for the World Championships uh, for constructors, uh, and then having Alonso uh, perform as well as last year, because last year he demonstrated that he was the best uh, driver in the world uh, for his uh, driving skills uh, style, and I hope that will perform very well, and I hope uh, we will be able uh, to give them the best car.